Welcome back. Tax, tax discounts for electric vehicles has officially come into effect in Indonesia. Starting from the 1st of April, 10% cuts on value-added tax will be given for both electric cars and buses. Those purchasing electric cars and buses will only have to pay 1% in value-added tax. Previously, buyers had to pay an 11% tax. However, this will only apply to electric vehicles, which is made with a minimum of 40% locally sourced components. The tax breaks will last until December this year and is part of the government's roadmap to boost Indonesia's electric vehicle industry and attract more buyers. Now, previously on the 20th of March, the Indonesian government also began providing subsidies for electric motorcycles, which cuts the purchasing price by 7 million rupiah. The cost of converting fuel-based motorcycles to electric is now also cut by 7 million rupiah. Still from Indonesia, the General Inspector of the Ministry of Finance, Awan Nurmawan Nuh, explained that there are 69 people indicated as problematic based on their 2020 and 2021 wealth reports. From the 69 in the reports, 31 are no longer being investigated, but eight employees have received heavy sanctions as it was proven that they had broken regulations. Dari 31 pegawai yang perlu tindak lanjut itu, ya kan, untuk Direktorat Jenderal Pajak, Ada lima pegawai kena hukuman disiplin berat. Ya, lima pegawai. Kemudian ada tiga pegawai uh, kena hukuman uh, sedang. Untuk bea cukai, itu tiga pegawai kena hukuman disiplin berat dan satu sedang. Nah, kemudian untuk yang perbaikan LHK, tadi kan dua kategori yang kena hukdis dan perbaikan LHK. Untuk pajak empat pegawai, untuk bea cukai 